I'm disappointed in the decision. Um, and I expressed it in a crazy way when I was talking to Ward and Birdo. Um, he didn't, he did enough to win. He did enough to win. But at the same time, it, he didn't do enough. And like, it's just like, what? <laughs> um, no doubt about it, man. He showed brilliant patience, an excellent jab, a consistent one, two. Just when you thought he was exiting stage left, he'd come back with another jab or one, two. And uh, his defense was some of the best I've seen. Again, he's an expert with his feet. Now, there's professional boxers, and then there's boxing experts, right? And in his ability, Baval perfected his craft. What I was disappointed in from Baval was the last two rounds. Um, and this only tells me really one thing. Better Beef can hit. It's that simple. Better Beef packs a punch, right? Um, what I saw from Baval defensively was brilliant, but he had to be defensive more than he would have liked to be. He wanted to execute, but with a guy like Better Beef, you got to be careful. It's not as simple as just letting your punches go. Anytime he showed that he was willing to fire and was ready to fire and actually fired, you see Better Beef come back with some devastating punches. And trust me when I say he felt it. I'm not sure how effective he was with the body shots, but um, he wasn't going to stand on the ropes like Canelo did and allow him to get punched and allow himself to get punched on. And that's no shade on Canelo. I'm just saying what it is. Right, we've seen two elite fighters tonight. This fight will be studied and it will stand the test of time. Right, it wasn't a particularly exciting fight, but um, the game plan was drawn out and they exec and they executed or Baval executed to perfection. He let us down in round 11 and 12. I wanted him to finish strong. I didn't want him to be comfortable with the lead. You know, um, I wanted him to lay it all out there. On that last stretch, that last 100 yards, you're going to see every, every runner, every jogger take off. I don't care if they just ran a, 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 a 1,600 or a marathon. When it's, when it's time to cross that finish line, when they see the finish line on the site, they take off, right? Um, Bavar didn't have to, but evidently he needed to. I'm, and that's the only thing that uh, I wish he had done better, right? Bavar, better be on the other hand, he maintained his pace. He didn't show a killer instinct. He showed that he was strong. He showed that he was there to fight. And he showed effort in trying to get it back. Right? Or he, he, he was successful. They were successful back and forth. I just feel like, I just feel like Baval did everything he needed to do. Right? So this fight will be studied because... Bavar did what he needed to do, just didn't finish strong. And Better Beef fought through, through to the last bell because he felt like he needed to, right? So the mindsets were there. Other than that, man, the fight was nothing spectacular. That was not an exciting fight. Um, they both got in the ring and did what they said they would and did uh, what they could, right? Bavar did what he had to do, didn't finish strong. Better Beef didn't give us that killer instinct. I don't care what anybody tell me. Better Beef didn't show us killer instinct. They, he showed us that it was strong. He got away with enough. And evidently that worked for the referees. I mean, for the judges. That's where it's BS at. That's where they lost me at. Right? 
why would um, your excellency want, even want, better be to get the decision over Bavol? Right? Because either way you look at it, I'm in for a rematch. No man won or lost tonight, or no man lost tonight. I ain't... It, the fight wasn't impressive. The fight wasn't exciting. We didn't get everything we said we was going to get. We knew a knockdown was going to happen. A knockdown didn't happen. Where was the knockdown? Where was the crazy power? When you get in the with somebody like Better Beef, and you got an opportunity to prove that at 39, like, you still a force to be reckoned with? Because you lost. You still a force to be reckoned with? Then we can give you your respect, champ. But the truth is this. Bavol won that fight. You got away with a gift, champ. You still, you still a dangerous individual. And a rematch is still going to be viewed by millions. But, bro, I'm sorry. You did not win. You did not win. We got a good... We got a good... A good boxing match. Literally, a good boxing match. You saw the patience in Bivol. I seen instances where he would press Better Beef as Better Beef attacked. Boom, boom, boom. Short punch. Boom, 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 boom. And, and instead of stepping back, Bavol allowed him to expend his energy. And then when the in, in the following round, you see Bavol take that round off. I mean, Better Beef take the round off as Bavol get off on him and win the following round. I believe Better Be literally did win by at least three rounds. By at least three rounds. By at least three rounds. But I knew, but I knew that him, him getting robbed was possible simply because of the last two rounds. That's just how I feel about it. Listen, I'm scarred for life because that's what I feel like happened to me when I fought Carl Frotch. Right? Um... Man, for some reason, in, in this day more than ever, they want to see, they want to see who won it, who really wants it, right? Who's going to bring that excitement? Who's going to finish to in the end? Baval, I hope I'm saying it right. Both of their names is bees, man, so whatever, not box. I've been punched on the line. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh, um, let me see. Let me read some of y'all comments, man, but, uh. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep assessing this situation because I got a lot to talk about. But man, I just feel like man, I just feel like there was nothing wrong with y'all going ahead and give Bavada the the, the 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 decision and us seeing it again. Either way you look at it, it can, we can go for the rematch. Any way you look at it, we can go for the rematch. I'm gonna bring some of y'all in in a minute. I'm, I promise you, I'm gonna bring some of y'all in in a minute. I want I want y'all assessment. I want to give y'all opportunity to say what y'all gonna say. I want to hear y'all. I want to hear what y'all think. How y'all felt about the fight? Was it exciting? Could they have done more? Did they prove everything to you that you want to see in the fight? If not for me, not for me. Bavard did everything he needed to do. That's the truth. Better Beef didn't. I ain't hating on Better Beef. I'm saying he was supposed to be that monster, that killer. You saw the eyes on the knockout. I mean, he was supposed to at least put the boy down. We ain't getting none of that. Why? Because Bavol is the superior boxer. Right? If he comes back, he's going to have to come back with a lot more determination than that if he want to keep his undisputed titles. And that WWF belt that, they, that Turkey just gave. <clears throat> you feel me? But this... My friends, it's life, or at least a part of it. I honestly believe Bavar is going to handle this well. No sweat off his back. He's going to eat this, figure out where he went wrong, look for the rematch. Any one of them right now, better be more than Bavar, could call it quits. Any win from any fighter, the winner can say, I'm done. I did everything I need to do. I did everything I needed to do. And, uh,
I'm still waiting to see what Bavar, I mean Better Beef, going to do. I wasn't impressed. Better Beef should retire. Absolutely. If I was Better Beef, call it quits. Now, this is if he don't mind, if, if he don't want to lose, if he don't want to suffer a loss. He better take his victory and go on and deal with that. There's no other fighter out there for you, champ. You need to go ahead and retire undefeated and with your belts. Because you, may y'all help me out, but I don't really know no undefeated punchers. We got undefeated boxers out there, and that should have been before tonight, but then he didn't get the decision. If Better Be decides to retire today, he would only have suffered one decision win, no losses. And he gives hope to the punchers out there because once that punch ability is lost, they start to lose. Bad night. <laughs> Bad night. 39. He literally needs to take that into consideration. Bavol, I mean, better be. No. If you want your flowers, Get that man this rematch. If you want your flowers, get that man this rematch. And everybody who said he was going to knock Bavol out, what you talking about, man? What we talking about now? Where the smoke? <laughs> what y'all going to tell me he did? All right, man, who want to come in? Let's, 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 let's talk turkey. Let's talk turkey. Let's talk, let's talk turkey. Let's see why turkey decided to... Allow better be this victory. So we'll get the first person in this room. Good times. Go ahead and send your invites. Except there you go. What's up with you, Tim? What's up? Nothing much, man. Dog. I'm a little disappointed. No, I'm very disappointed. Point in, man. Like, I, I think that the way boxing is going now, no one cares about skills no more. They want you to sit there and bang and just punch it out, man, and, and don't care about the skills. Like, you go against a guy with a 100% knockout rating, you're not supposed to sit there and bang when he's supposed to box, use the defense, that's catching punches, slipping punches, fight when he has open. You ain't supposed to punch with him. So they're talking about people saying, oh, well, Bivol ran or Bivol did this. Bivol fought the fight he needed to fight. He counterpunched, he boxed beautifully, he made them miss. But if he even kept his hands up sometimes and even punch when he posted, he, he didn't even sit down on his punches like he like he wanted to because he couldn't mm -hmm. set his feet and throw like mm -hmm. he wanted to. So everybody saying Bivol lost the fight, I just think they don't know boxing. Because boxing is all about skills, not about a power. Like you hundred percent knockout you supposed to knock out the, 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 the boxer. If you don't knock out the boxer, you don't win the fight. Cause he's the boxer. Yeah. You don't think you don't have to think they don't know boxing. Cause the truth is they don't know why. <laughs> the thing is this, bro. People are enamored with knockouts. They love it. Anytime you see a boxer puncher get in the ring, everybody's always rooting for the boxer. I mean, for the puncher. Uh, you hear me? Is he froze? Because he's like, he just froze right there. But nevertheless, I'm just to finish my statement. Everybody's enamored with knockouts. They love to see a man hit the canvas. So... They want to see the boxer, the guy who was so elusive, so excellent at keeping cats off and proving his boxing ability. They want to see him fall. He didn't. And now because, because Bavar got the victory, better be got the victory, um, they feel like they feel. I got to get him. I wonder how he froze like that. I'm bringing somebody else in. How do I get him off? Because he froze, y'all. <laughs> wow. He froze. Is that Louis? I can't get him off, y'all. I'm about to restart this live. It's crazy. I'm about, to re I'm about to restart the live because they ain't giving me the option to get up out of my page. That's crazy. 